Okay, I have here to another integral. We've got the integral of one over one plus cosine squared dx. Okay, the thing that got my attention with this one that's kind of interesting is there's not really an obvious u substitution. We've got nothing in the denominator. So if I were to make a u substitution for cosine, we don't have a sign there. And then also I thought maybe we could multiply the denominator by the conjugate, but that's not that great because then we end up with cosine of the fourth. It might work, but I didn't try that. But the thing that seems to work so often with trig integrals is if we just multiply the numerator and denominator by secant squared x over secant squared x, we're multiplying them by one. The nice thing about this is secant squared x times cosine squared x is just one. So we can kind of rearrange the whole integral this way. So multiplying it on the numerator, we're just gonna have secant squared x dx. Secant squared x times one, we'll have a secant squared x over here. And again, this part's just gonna be one. But then at this point, it's still not clear how we can do a u substitution because the derivative of, if I do my u substitution for secant, the derivative of that secant times tangent. But it'd be nice if I had tangent in the denominator because the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Well, we have an identity we can use for this. We can write, we have this tan squared x plus one equals secant squared x. So what I can do is take this here and plug it back in for this secant squared and rewrite everything. So this is gonna give me secant squared x dx. Then denominator for this, we're gonna have tan squared x plus one, but we'll add it to this one and we'll, have, we'll end up with plus two. But now we have the u substitution we want because the derivative of tangent is gonna be secant squared. So let's go over here and we'll do a u sub. So for my u sub, we'll say u is equal to tan of x, take a derivative, so then du is gonna be just secant squared x dx. So again, this is our du, and we'll go ahead and substitute. So we end up with just du over u squared plus two. But for two, what I'll do, I can write this as square root of two all squared. But now this integral here is in the form for arctan. Let's just look at that formula really quick. Okay, now we have our formula over here. Now our integral's in u and this is an x, but we just have to look at, we're in the exact right form. We have our like x squared, a squared. In this case, our a is gonna be just square root of two. So we can use this formula and just plug in for a. So doing that, we're gonna have one over our a values. So we're gonna have one over square root of two, arctan of just u over square root of two. But now we just need to back substitute in order to finish this thing off. So for my final solution, we just have one over square root of two, arctan, tan x over square root of two plus c, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Quick integral multiplying in secant squared x over secant squared x. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.